All right, guys. So let's look at uh, pepsinogen. Pepsin, basically digestion of proteins in the stomach. So let's say you have a complex form of protein, right? So this protein enters a uh, stomach. So everything that I'm gonna explain right now is um, happens in the stomach. So protein is a complex form and have this uh, amino acids, right? So proteins made from amino acids. So this amino acids needs to be separated one from another from peptic bonds and peptic bonds hold those amino acids. Um, so your body uh, can absorb those amino acids, right? So the protein needs to be denatured first. So in the stomach, we have hydrochloric acid that can act on this uh, complex form of protein and can denature. So denaturation is when the protein loses its integrity and is being uncoiled or unraveled. So now this uh, amino acids, these little bubbles or amino acids are available for separation. So hydrochloric acid's job is to denature protein. Hydrochloric acid can also kill a harmful, harmful bacteria that enters your system together with food. So hydrochloric acid is being produced by parietal cells and denatures protein. Now, these amino acids are here, but they still need to go through another step of digestion. They need to be separated or this protein needs to be um, broken down from more complex form into more simple form. So then also we have a, a, an enzyme pepsin. So the an, enzyme pepsin is active form. So pepsinogen houses this particular uh, enzyme. So the pepsinogen needs to be converted first into active form called pepsin. So the pepsin is enzyme and pepsinogen is protein. So let's pretend that I'm going to skip, uh, skip uh, a lot of steps. So let's say pepsinogen uh, is in active form, in active, inactive, inactive form of Pepsi. So with the help of hydrochloric acid, hydrochloric acid acts on pepsinogen and pepsinogen is being converted into active form called pepsin. And now pepsin can act on these peptide bonds and now can separate these amino acids one from another. So now these amino acids are free amino acids and later on when they enter small intestine, they could be absorbed in our bloodstream. So pepsinogen is inactive form, is being released from the chief cells. And then later on will be converted by the hydrochloric acid into active form pepsin. Pepsin is active form. So if the pepsin would constantly be present in its active form in the stomach, it would digest internal lining of the stomach. So this is the reason why we have this active form of pepsin in its inactive form pepsinogen, right? So when the food enters your system, pepsin, pepsi, pepsinogen. So when the food enters your system, pepsinogen will be converted into its active form of pepsin and only then pepsin can act on uh, these peptide bonds and separate uh, amino acids into its simple form. And so those amino acids would be absorbed in, uh, in the small intestine into the blood. So this is a cliff note, cliff note, cliff notes, cliff note on uh, chief cells, parietal cells, pepsinogen and pepsin.